Hello, welcome back with me, Plant to Home and Garden. This time I'll give you a video about 10 amazing water plants for your water garden. Well, before we go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for support this channel and turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. The first one, Creeping Jenny. Often used as a ground cover in terrestrial gardens, Creeping Jenny pairs excellently when used in water gardening applications. Growing approximately 2 inches in height, it's a great filler to soften edges of rocks with its white leaves creating a vivid contrast against the cool gray of red stone. Tiny yellow flowers appear on the plant throughout summer, giving it added appeal. Creeping Jenny is a perennial and best used in zones 3 to 10. The second one is Pickerel. Available in blue, white, and pink lavender spike flowers, Pickerel is a great choice for pounds with its shiny green heart shaped foliage. The blooms are long lasting and create a beautiful display when planted in masses. It grows about 24 up to 30 in heat and performs well in zones 4 to 10. The third one, horsetail. Horsetail reed provides a striking architectural presence in your pond with its segmented reeds growing to 24 in heat, while the dwarf fashion grows to 8, hardy to zone 4. It's a fast spreader and you will want to thin the plant in the summer. In the fall, cut the plant all the way down to the ground to keep the spores from spreading. The fourth one, Teru. Several varieties of Teru are available for your pond and do well in full to part sand. This is a tropical plant suited for zones 8 to 11 but colder climes can bring the plant inside during the winter months. This impressive, leafy water lover grows to about 48 and always makes a striking appearance in the water garden. The fifth is cardinal flower. Plant this pretty flower along the shallow edges of your pond and watch the bird flock to it. The burgundy foliage sets off the vibrant red flowers. The leaves are up to 8 long and the plant can grow as tall as 3 feet. Cardinal flower performs best in zone 5 to 9. The sixth one is water lettuce. Water lettuce produces fuzzy, lime green resets of leaves that look like little floating heads of lettuce. Super easy to grow. You simply let this plant float on the surface of the water with its root dangling below. They purchase babies throughout the summer and can be shared with friends or moved to container water gardens. Hardy in zone 9 to 11. The second one is mosaic plant. The beautiful mosaic plant consists of red and green diamond shaped leaves in 3 to 6 white rosettes. In the summer, this floating plant produces sunny yellow cup shaped flowers. Easy to grow, the plant provides a place for your fine friends to hide underneath. A tropical plant mosaic is hardy in zones 11 to 12. The eighth one is Blue Iris. Many water gardeners enjoy the elegant splendor of the aquatic iris, which is among the first plants to bloom in the spring. Aquatic irises compare such a large and deserved group. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of cultivated and natural hybrids. The blue flag iris is a native plant that can grow up to 4 feet tall. A wetland lover, the blue flag's large flowers are breathtaking, ranging in shades from pale blue to purple. The ninth one is Sweet Flag. Also known as Golden Japanese Sweet Flag, this plant is ideal for containers and water gardens alike. It's extremely flexible as it can be grown with its tooth in the water or partially submerged. The beautiful foliage is light green and highlighted with bright yellow stripes, remaining beautiful all seasons and sometimes through the winter. An all-round green plant that adds a bright, cheerful spot to any water region. 
The last one is water lilies. Water lilies are stunning creatures in the water garden and often the reason why many gardeners add upon to their landscape. These beautiful pond plants are characterized by amazing flowers representing all colors in light spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The flowers range from a mere two in diameter to some blooms measuring 12 or more. Their leaves typically float unless they are crowded and are more or less round, ranging from two across to over six feet for the giant Victoria. Water lilies are perennial and can be broken down into two basic groups, hardy and tropical. Thanks for watching my video about 10 amazing water plants for your water garden guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and support this channel by click subscribe. Well, see you in the next video. Bye!